what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we'll be learning about firebase authentication in react native so let's get started and here we have a very simple application we have welcome sign in and sign up pages i've already designed this application in another video so if you want to create this design i will leave the video link in the description so without wasting any time let's get started first you need to go to the firebase console and here you need to create a new project so let's just name this react native login okay so we don't need google analytics so let's create this after that's done we need to create a web application so let's click on the web icon and name your application we will just use react native so let's register now it's asking us to install firebase so let's install this dependency into our project just copy this command and paste it into the terminal and this will install this library now we need to add this firebase sdk into our application so let's just copy this code and uh, we need to have a firebase configuration file so let's create this file firebase okay so this is done now we also need to add authentication service so let's just create a variable auth we will use a function from firebase get auth so let me just import it manually import. we will import it from firebase slash auth get auth like this and we need to pass our application variable okay so this file is done now let's move to the sign up screen and implement sign up here in this screen when user adds his credentials and hit that sign up button he will be able to sign up in the firebase but before that we need to be able to store this user into our application so that we can use this user to later navigate to the home page so for that we will be using a custom hook so let's just create a folder and a file with use auth hook okay so we'll just create a simple react native functional component we won't be returning this view so instead let's just create a user state user and set user by default this user will be null now we need to add an event from firebase and uh, let's just uh, create the use effect hook and we will register that event in, inside it and this will trigger automatically when this component mounts now let's register this event it's called own auth state change and it will return us a callback to unsubscribe it on auth state change and we need to provide our auth service to it this will trigger every time when a user logs in or logs out so this returns us a user and we can use this user to update our state so if user have a value that means user just logged in so we will set this user otherwise we will just set the user to null set user to null okay so let's just also console log this users to see in the console user okay so we haven't imported our auth service so let's just import it auth okay now we need to return this user we also need to return this callback so what this will do is basically when this component unmounts it will remove this event okay so this component is finished now what will happen is whenever user logs in or logs out this service will be triggered and we, it will update the user into the state and we can use that user state to update our home screen or welcome screens now let's move, move to the app navigation and use this service okay so let's just use our custom hook in here we will use the user value from hook and here is how you can use the custom hook we just call it use auth and this will return us the value now we will use this user to display two different set of navigations so uh, one is when user logged in and otherwise we will show a different set of navigations so let's just copy this 
okay so when we have the user value that means user is logged in then we can remove the welcome and login screen and we will just show the home screen and the initial route will be home and when we don't have a user value that means user is logged out so we won't be showing home screen okay so this screen is also finished now let's move back to the sign up screen and implement sign up okay here we will have two variables to store email and password so let's create them email set email like this and we also have a password field um, okay so let's just use them into our text fields let's remove this value and we will use our dynamic value and we also need to implement the text change event this will set the value to the email okay let's copy this for the password and let's change the names okay so that's done uh, here we will be able to enter our data like this okay great and now let's uh, add a function whenever user presses this button this will be triggered press use handle submit and let's save uh, error is because we haven't created handle submit so let's create it handle submit and this will be an async function because we will be calling the firebase method in it here we will check if user has entered the email and password so password then we will use our try cache block to cache if there if there are any errors from firebase so i will just console log the error to see if we have any errors error now let's uh, use a method from firebase to create the user uh, let's use a wait keyword and use a method to create user with email and password and we will provide our authentication service and email and password to it so let's just use auth service first and our email and password okay so this is finished now what this will do is basically take this email and password and this method will create a user on the firebase and whenever a user is created our service on our state change will be called and which will return us the user and if we update this user we will be redirected to the home page and if we get any errors we will just log them here okay so let's test our implementation okay so now we are getting an error configuration not found okay it's because we are we haven't enabled our authentication server so let let's move back to the firebase let's open authentication service and we need to enable the email and password authentication okay we have different providers we will enable email and password let's just save it and now if we refresh our application we will be good to go okay let's just test one more time okay so we are successfully moving to the home page that means our implementation is working and as you can see in the console we have a user and this user has all of these values and this uid here that means the user was successfully created and we got the user in our auth state changed method uh, in here so the user has a value and we are redirected to the home page so like if we go to the navigation here we can see if the user has a value then we will display only home routes okay so now let's move back to the home screen and implement this logout method so let's just create a on press method on this button 
handle logout and we'll make this method async because we'll be using a sign out method sign out method from firebase this is very easy just use the await keyword and use the sign out method and we need to pass our auth service here and if this works we'll be redirected to the welcome screen okay so it's working we got the user null and we are redirecting back to the welcome page now let's uh, just copy this code and move to the login screen okay so let's just format this and we need to use a different method here it's called sign in with sign in with email and password like this we also need to import our auth service now we need to use this method in the login button so let's add an on press method here and we will use handle submit submit okay so now we also need to use our dynamic values let's just copy this and use it into our password field like this and for the email let's copy this and let's change the names email now uh, use state we need to import the use state hook okay so now we'll be able to log in and we will be redirected to the home screen if this is successful i'm using a wrong password to see if we are getting error so yeah we are getting the wrong password authentication error so that means the errors are working now let's use the correct password login okay so we are moving to the home screen that means our implementation is working and we have successfully implemented firebase auth in react native uh, do like and subscribe the video if you still have any questions you can ask them into the comment section and i will try to answer them as soon as possible